Okay, we're gonna do an easy yoga flow for your back. So we'll start on your hands and knees. Put your hands underneath your shoulders. Put your knees underneath your hips. And we'll start by rounding the spine, tucking the chin, and scooping the belly in. Letting the spine come way up to the sky. And then when you inhale, you can look forward and kind of roll your tailbone up away from the back of your knees and lengthen the whole front body. And then exhale, round into cat pose. And inhale, up into cow. And do that several times back and forth. It just feels good on the spine. Then we're gonna come to child's pose. So we'll touch the toes together, open the knees out wide, like as wide as your yoga mat. Then you can sit your hips towards your heels and fold your body down onto the legs. If you don't, aren't able to sit on your heels, you can grab yourself a pillow and put it between your legs so that you can sit on that. That'll help you. So in our child's pose, we're just gonna rest here. If your forehead doesn't touch the ground, you can stack your fists so that your forehead can rest comfortably. From here, we're gonna lift the head and just walk the fingers farther away from you. And then tuck the chin and find that stretch. And we're gonna walk our hands all the way over to the right. Keep the left hip down. Find a stretch on the left side. Breathe here, like five breaths. Walk the hands back to center, stretch a little farther, and then walk the hands all the way off to the left side of your mat, stretching the right side body, hips heavy. Come back to center and come back up to hands and knees and we're gonna do a little shoulder stretches. So we're gonna take the right elbow and bend it. So you want the forearm parallel to the front of your mat. You're gonna walk the left hand far, far forward as far as you can until you start to feel a stretch in the armpit area. And then you're gonna tuck your head and maybe you can rest your forehead on the right arm or maybe it doesn't rest either way. Sink into the hips and get, but glue the hand to the floor so you really stretch the shoulder area. And take about five breaths here. And then we'll switch sides. So put your left hand underneath your shoulder, come back to your hands and knees, maybe do a cat and a cow or several. And we're gonna do the other side. So left elbow bends, forearm comes parallel to the front of the mat. Right arm reaches forward, tuck the forehead and rest the forehead on the left arm and sink into the shoulder. And then come back up to center. And again, you can do your cat cow stretches or you can rest in child's pose. And we're gonna do half dog, which is just both hands forward. You wanna keep your hands parallel, your arms parallel to each other. So we don't wanna create a V, parallel. Walk the hands, maybe even off the mat, tuck the head so that the forehead comes down in between the arms and the chest kind of drops towards your mat and you're there and you're stretched. Doesn't matter if the forehead touches or not, allow yourself to soften into this pose. It should feel good. It might feel, it might feel like it's a deep stretch. Keep the breath flowing. Try not to hold your breath in your yoga class. From here, we're gonna move back into the child's pose. So we're just gonna sit the hips back onto the heels and fold yourself forward. This time we're gonna take the arms alongside the body so that we rest the shoulders completely. And then we're gonna walk ourselves back up to hands and knees and float down onto the belly. So we're gonna open the chest a little bit. So we stretch the shoulders, we stretch the lower back, hopefully in child's pose. We're gonna practice Sphinx pose. 
pretty much you're already there. Your belly is down, your legs are behind you, you want your thighs parallel, tops of the feet on the floor. Bring your elbows directly underneath the shoulders so that there's a right angle in each arm. Palms face down, and again, you want your arms parallel to each other. Then you're gonna press your belly button gently into the floor, and then shine your heart forward. Take these shoulder blades and press them back away from you. Good. So without actually moving your arms, you're gonna energetically pull the elbows towards the hips to allow the front of your chest to move forward. And you can look forward or you can look down depending on how your neck feels. Sphinx pose. This is a great chest opener. Take those shoulder blades now and kind of squeeze them behind you. And of course, keep your breath flowing. When you're ready, you'll tuck the chin and rest the forehead back on the mat. We're going to bring our hands directly underneath the shoulders. Now elbows off the floor, coming into cobra pose. We'll squeeze the elbows towards the rib cage and then inhale head and shoulders off the mat. So notice my rib cage is still on the mat. Notice I can lift my hands off the floor. This is cobra pose. Tops of my feet are still pressing on the mat. Belly button is pulled in to protect my lower back. One more breath here, taking about five. And then I'm gonna use my hands to press myself up through hands and knees and come back to my child's pose. And that's it for this flow. Now you can stay in child's pose and rest there for several minutes, or you can come to your back and rest there. It's always a great idea to allow yourself some time to rest after you practice yoga. It is very important to find that peaceful, quiet time after you practice. This is a yoga flow for your back. And if you have any questions, let me know.